Good morning, guys. It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So we are rounding up week one of the 30-day weight loss challenge with One Big Impact. So if you're new here, go check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life and also on Instagram at One Big Impact. I do offer meal plans, online training, in-person personal training, as well as macro coaching. So if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. And by the way, thank you so much for all the support and keep up the good work on wherever you are on your journey. So today's video is actually going to be prioritize weight loss if that's your goal. And I'll be looking back and forth, back and forth because I wrote a, uh, a little diagram out to follow. So first of all, if your prior, like if your main goal is to lose weight, then you need to prioritize the caloric deficit. That's just what it is. If it's fat or building muscle or anything like that, it will be slightly different. So keep in mind, the number one thing is going to be your caloric deficit. So that being said, your meals come number one. And uh, you need to prep your meals, okay? And I see a lot of people having a lot of different reasons for doing it and not doing it and stuff like that. But let's be honest, um, if you find yourself stressed at the end of the day, or you have lunch pressure from uh, friends and coworkers, or you're on the go a lot and you're moving around and maybe you're doing errands all day or something like that, it is actually really super important to make sure that you have your meals with you because in all honesty, if you come into one of those situations, it's a hell of a lot easier to say no or do not do it if you have a piece of food ready. And what I've noticed is even if it's stress related, a lot of the times people will say, well, I'm stressed out, so I just went and got Ben and Jerry's or something like that or whatever it is. If that's the case, then right when you feel that feeling, eat your meal and then see how you feel after a few minutes. Eat your meal, uh, drink some water and see how you feel and it might just subside it. It might need be that you need to work on your stress levels or something like that. So, and another thing is actually prep your meals. Don't, or actually, I'm sorry, actually eat your prepped meals. I hear all the people, uh, people all the time, they go, oh, I can't afford to eat, blah, blah, I can't afford to eat, right? And those same people will be prepping their meals and eating out on top of it. So you can't afford not to eat your meals. The next thing is prioritize actually being willing to take the steps to lose weight, not just talking about them. Don't be the person that says, yeah, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And when it comes down to the wire, you're not willing to do workouts. You're not willing to make sure that your meals are good to go. You're not making sure that you understand how the process works. You're not willing to put the work in on the weekends or whatever it is. Don't talk shit, do shit. It is a really huge difference. And trust me, because I know for a lot of years of my life, I was a talker and that was all. And I still talk, but meaning like actually didn't try to achieve goals. I just talked about them. Um, the next thing is exercise. And you might be saying, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to exercise. Well, the thing about exercise is it's a way to put yourself into a further caloric deficit. So it really doesn't matter if it's cardio or strength training or whatever. If you are prioritizing number one weight loss, you have to burn calories. You have to burn, burn more calories than you eat. And if you're not losing weight, it's because you're eating more calories than you're burning. And that's just the way it is. Um, and you don't want to get in the process of removing more food and um, making sure one of the things that you got to make sure of is the time you work out, you might be saying, well, I'm not a morning person. I'm going to work out at night. And then the night comes and you're like, fuck, I'm stressed out. I will. I don't want to go to the gym. So if that's the problem and you're constantly blowing off your workouts because stress, the kids, life, your wife, your husband or whatever just gets you by the end of the day, then I'm sorry to break it to you, but you need to get your ass up at four or five o'clock in the morning and go fucking work out. You need to bust out your workout and finish 
because a half ass workout is better than no ass workout. So keep that uh, in mind. Next thing is going to be your hydration. Make sure that you're drinking plenty of water and um, it's going to help you with fullness, bloating, and getting just your system operating at an optimal level, especially if you're putting yourself in a caloric deficit, you're shocking your body. If you're exercising, you're shocking your body. You need to be able to replenish those water stores. Um, and the next thing is probably going to be most important, planning in advance for any type of outings, whether you're going to the club on the weekend or you're going out with family, family's out from out of town and you're going out to a dinner or you're going out to breakfast with friends or on the weekend or whatever it is that you're doing, you need to figure out how to do that properly. I would suggest probably never, never, never eating the food that is actually at the place if you can help it. And you might find yourself saying, you know what, I need that break or something like that. In my own personal opinion, for the first three months that you're dieting, I would suggest not to go out. And the reason is because you need to see the scale moving. You need to see everything rolling. And the problem is you can go out twice a week and you're not going to lose weight. Um, the portions are way bigger a lot of places. And uh, the, the thing is, if the food wasn't super good and putting something on that may be different than what we put on at our own homes, then we wouldn't go out. If, it's, if it tastes better than what we're cooking, my suggestion is stop sucking at cooking. Like, become a fucking better cook. Like, because you can cook the same food that they cook. You can probably Google, how do they cook this or whatever. And that way you can actually measure how much butter, how much this, how much that is on these things. And bring that meal with you. Why not? Like, why not, you know, save 20, 30, 40 bucks on your end and have a nice little meal. You can bring like a plate with you and put it all together and preheat it before you come. Like there's lots of ways to be able to make sure that you can stay within the, the parameters to be able to stay on track. Nothing sucks more than going out and coming back two or three pounds heavier and be like, oh, I can't do anything. This sucks. I can't even go out. I don't even want to do this. And you get discouraged and stuff like that. And it really doesn't have anything to do with what you did necessarily. It's just what you ate wasn't what your body was used to. It was maybe higher in calories or um, more sugar content or um, the oils and the butters that they fried things in or you didn't weigh the things and you put yourself into a surplus or whatever. Um, so make sure that um, you follow those things. And the last thing that I have to suggest for everybody, each and every single buddy, whether you're in the challenge, not in the challenge, if you're out there on your journey in the world, is you can either make, make excuses or you can get results. That's it. If I say something to you and you come with a response right away, then you're making excuses, okay? And trust me, the reason I say be stronger than your excuses is literally because I have come up with every fucking excuse that I could ever come up with. And that's a personal self-reminder. So remember, when you are saying, I need to prioritize this or whatever, if you're saying that, you need to stop saying it and go do it. If you're like, I need to exercise, if you're not prioritizing exercise, then you need to. And you need to get focused on actually making reasons why to do stuff, not why not to do stuff. And at the end of the day, you can have uh, a challenge, you can have a trainer, you can have the you could pay somebody ten thousand dollars a day to keep you on track and stuff like that but at the end of the day it's going to become your own self-discipline your own self-power your own self-worth your own consistency your own mind is going to be the one that gets you there people every single day lose, lose hundreds of pounds because they decided that they were going to stop making fucking excuses and make a reason why to do it you guys have a good, beautiful day be stronger than your excuses thank you so much for watching and Good luck on the challenge. Three weeks left.